Hey everyone, and welcome to True, your 30-day yoga journey. It's day 19, and today we're getting our minds right by focusing on the power of thought. Let's get started. Okay, everybody, today we're gonna begin standing, changing it up, with feet hip width apart. So I'm dressed like a find what feels good ninja today because really today is about mind, the mind, the manas. So we'll have a bit of a physical practice, but really bringing our attention to tending to the mind because the way we perceive things and understanding the power of thought is everything, if you ask me. It helps dictate every experience and how we experience everything, right? So stand up nice and tall. If you wanna pause the video and go put on a ninja outfit, that's fine too, but just imagine. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sharing your time and your energy. Let's get started by taking a deep breath in and using an exhale to really just land here, land and ground in whatever you're showing up with today. And draw your hands together, Anjali Mudra at the heart. And then just begin to notice if you're kind of shifting forward into your toes. Maybe you uh, tend to stand on the outer edges of your feet a lot. Maybe it's the opposite, maybe it's inner. Um, maybe you're sinking way back into your heels, although after yesterday I doubt anybody is really standing here because <laughs> that would mean that your glutes would need to be turned on. So after you've taken a moment to essentially, we're just bringing awareness to the soles of the feet, let's start to travel up the body, drawing a little bit of awareness and energy up through the arches of the feet the shins, around the knee joint. Continue to draw your awareness up through the thighs, the hips, imagine your hip points shining not just forward but up towards the sky. And then let that continue. Sternum lifts to the thumbs, up, 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 shoulders relax, neck is nice and long, and then lift and lengthen up through the crown of the head. So you might have heard it before, and I've certain, certainly shared this many times, but where attention goes, energy flows. So if we tend to be the type of person that kind of focuses on the downfall, the negative possibilities, then we're giving energy towards those negative possibilities to become a reality. Now, if we're able to consider the flip side what would happen? So I'm really here to just continue to ask questions and help you ask questions, not to really give answers. So just a little food for thought. Now gently begin to deepen your breath and just come into a stillness. If you can, an exquisite stillness, whatever that means to you. And inhale, and on your next exhale, bow your head down towards your hands and your heart. Mindful in your thoughts, notice what comes up. And then slowly release the head, the hands. We're gonna interlace the fingertips behind the back. And you're gonna step the feet a little bit wider. So you're not gonna go full on the length of your mat, but just a little bit wider than hip width apart. Then turn the toes in just a hair and knuckles are gonna draw down, articulate, draw down and away as you open up through the chest. So you can square off the wrists here or you can work to bring the palms together, really together. Yogi's choice, sit up nice and tall, stand up nice and tall, and imagine your hip points again going up towards the sky as you breathe deep here, open your chest, open your mind. Hmm. 
Nice, then bend the knees just slightly and you're gonna send your heart forward and your butt back. And you're just gonna go halfway, halfway here. Crown of the head reaches forward, knuckles draw back, big stretch, big breath. And then exhale to dig into the heels and come back. Awesome, release the arms and just let them drape gently at your side, soft fingertips. Inhale in and exhale out. Awesome. Interlace behind, now opposite thumb on top, so the other way, knuckles draw down and away. We start to open up through the chest, continue to breathe. See if you can extend your exhale, make it long and smooth. So, one, an excellent tool for the mind, especially a busy monkey mind, is pranayama, breath. Breath practice, breath control, awareness of breath. Inhale, lift your heart, open the chest, open your mind, and exhale. Here we go again, slight bend in the knees, slow shift of the heart center forward, knuckles reach back. Think of your halfway lift moment that we've been doing in our flows. Take a deep breath in here, big stretch through the top of the hamstring, and then dig into the heels to come all the way back. Beautiful, beautiful. Release the hands, let them drape naturally. Soft fingertips, lots of awareness throughout the whole entire body. Deep breath in and empty it out. Awesome, from here you're gonna bring the heels in, then the toes, and then keep it going. Heel, toe, heel, toe, all the way together. Hands come back at the heart, inhale in. Exhale, bow head to heart, mind intelligence to body intelligence. Sweet, then slowly release. We're gonna interlace the fingertips, shift your weight to your left foot. And then you're gonna catch your right knee, press into your left foot, press away from your yoga mat and squeeze your right knee up to your chest as you rotate the ankle one way and then the other. Now, this of course requires balance and stability, a little coordination, so find something to focus on if you need to. Play with that lift up from the pelvic floor. And then check it out. You're gonna take your right ankle and you're gonna cross it over the top of your left thigh. Strong and steady here. If you need to put the hands out for balance, do it with awareness, mindfully. So lots of control in your fingertips and toes from head to toe. Head to toe. If it's all right in your body, bring the hands to the heart. Deep breath in, exhale, bend and stretch. Heart goes forward just like we did before. Slight bend in the knee, keep the toes awake. Big breath in, dig into your left heel to come all the way, release, back up. And we'll switch to the other side. Interlace the fingertips, shift your weight to your right foot. Catch your left knee, here we go. Press away from the yoga mat, squeeze and lift. Rotate the left ankle one way and then the other. And lots of awareness in the whole body. You're gonna take that left ankle now, cross it over the top of the right thigh. If you fall, we'll catch you, it's all good. You just fall and zoom it right back in. Exercising that muscle is actually more important than being here. You know? Breathe deep, send your heart forward if you haven't already, but back. Stay connected to your core, you got this. Take a deep breath in. We're peering into the pond. What is it do you see? What type of reflection are you getting back today? All right, and then on an exhale, dig into your right heel. Squeeze and lift to come back up and release. Awesome, inhale in and then exhale, bow. Namaste. Beautiful. Release the hands, let them just drape naturally. And now we're gonna bring the feet as wide as the yoga mat. So super wide now. Big toes turn in, gripping through the outer edge of the feet and drawing energy up from the inner arch. Let that awaken the muscles of the inner thigh. Lengthen tailbone down, hip points again, up towards the sky. And then we feel solid here. Slowly bring the hands to the heart. Inhale in. Exhale, relax the shoulders down. Imagine your shoulder blades really coming together here. So imagine you're pinching a pencil between your two shoulder blades and then soften through the knees so we're not locked here. And here we go. We're gonna slowly send the heart forward, shoulder blades coming together, just to that halfway mark here. Looking in, what do you see? Inhale in, exhale, continue, fingertips down to the earth, maybe palms. 
Deep breath in here. If you're able to go a little bit further, of course you're welcome to. Bringing the hands maybe in line with the arches of the feet. If you're there, go ahead and hug the elbows in so they're in line with your shoulders. Wherever you are, this is big breath time. Big, big, big anchor in the breath moment. Then use an exhale to dig into your heels. Contract navel to spine, find that core strength. Hands come to the heart, come halfway, and then slowly rise up. I've got my Julia Roberts hair going today. My friends used to always tease me because I had like every Julia Roberts DVD when I was a young, young lady. Back to upright position, head over heart, heart over pelvis. All right, find your support system again here. Draw energy up, lengthen tailbone down. And now we're gonna release the fingertips, interlace again. So now you can really pinch that pencil. Adrian says the darndest things. It's gonna be my new show. Knuckles drawn down and away. Again, you can work in time to bring the palms together. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your heart. And exhale, slowly, hips back, heart forward. Take your time here. So you kind of defy gravity here, stay connected to your center, your core, and then maybe in time, knuckles draw up towards the sky, head comes down to the earth. If this is not suited for your body, you'll break free of the bind and bring the hands or fingertips to the earth. Otherwise, stay here and actively reach your fingertips rather than just la allowing your shoulders to collapse in space. Reach your knuckles, rather not your fingertips, up towards the sky. So you're creating length from the shoulder to the earlobe. Breathe deep. Change your perspective. Sometimes, you know, our thoughts, our perception is just so conditioned. And why not? The world just tells us so much, gives us so much information. It's hard to exercise our right to think for ourselves and direct our attention. All right, from here, strong legs, press into your heel, exhale, draw the navel in and up. You're gonna slowly rise up, back to standing, head over heart, heart over pelvis, release the bind, hands come to the heart for stability or on the waistline. And you're gonna stand up nice and tall, and here we go, heel, toe, heel, toe, all the way in. And then feel that flush in your body, in your legs, in your side body, your back, your arms. Inhale in and exhale, gently bow the head to the heart. Stay here, close your eyes. Notice how you feel. All right, gently release, lift the head. You're gonna interlace the fingertips now and press the palms forward and then up and back. And as you do this, take a deep breath in and imagine all four sides of the torso lifting. So not just the front body, but the back body, the side body. And then lift your chin, lift your chest, draw the navel in and up to support your lower back. And then we're gonna slowly tilt to the right. And then press into the heels, come back to center, slow tilt to the left. Press into your heels, come back to center, inhale in, exhale, listen carefully, bend the knees, release the fingertips, right arm is gonna come underneath the left. And we come to eagle arms, knees are bent, we stick the bum out just like we've been doing, connect to your center. Strong focus here. Now, when we start to bind ourselves and when somebody asks us to go into a tight compromise position, where, do, where does your mind go? Where do your thoughts go? So as you lift your elbows up here and send your hips back in space, see if you can bend your knees even more and really dig in, challenge yourself. And then consider your thoughts, the way you handle your thoughts totally dictates your experience. Stay here or slowly peel the right knee up and cross it over. Bend the left knee now a little more, you got it. And maybe you find your wrap, eagle pose. Elbows lift up. Breathing deep. 
So try not to grip your left toes. See if you can soften the shoulders down as you lift the elbows up even more. Sink a little deeper and then breathe and listen to the sound of your breath. Notice yourself talk here as you draw the navel in and up. You got it. And then nice and easy, you're gonna unravel the bottom. Stand up, unravel the top. Allow the fingertips to drape gently at your side and then just notice how you feel. Awesome. Let's go again. Interlace the fingertips, press the palms forward, up and back, big stretch, inhale. Exhale. Now tilt to the left, bump the hips to the right. Come back to center. Tilt to the right, bump the hips to the left. Come back to center. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Break free. Unravel. Left arm is going to come under this time. We wrap around. And then bend the knees, send the hips back, way back. So a lot of times there's just like all this like rush to get into these poses and the mind just is kind of like hanging on by a thread. So try to create a mind body experience here. And if it's challenging, great, because then you get to really work with the juicy stuff. Send the hips back. You know, this 30 days of yoga is like a workshop. It's like it's a 30 day workshop. You get to explore, really dig into the practice. So when you're ready, sink a little deeper. I'm going to lift the left leg up and maybe wrap it around. And then just notice, am I strong and determined today, even if I'm falling? Or am I frustrated, letting my mind get the best? And both are valid, valid uh, roads. And they're both going to be very real. But it's the awareness of your thoughts and your perception that rock. Okay, listen to the sound of your breath. Bend that right knee a little more. You got this. Lift the elbows up high. Breathing deep. Awesome, then the bottom half's gonna unravel first. Stand up nice and tall, top half unravels, amazing. Slowly bring the feet together, let your fingertips just soften as you relax your arms at your sides. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in. And exhale, let it all go. Work. Draw the hands together. You're going to bring the feet as wide as your yoga mat now, or if you're sideways like me, just go ahead and bring them back to a little bit wider than hip width apart. We'll turn the toes out this time, heels in, inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, slowly bend the knees and drop your center down. So we're coming into a yogic squat here, nice and slow. Now, negotiate. If the heels need to come up, all good. Stay positive, lift the heels. If this is not for your body, just come to a nice comfortable seat. If you're willing to experiment here for a bit, make sure that the knees are not coming in, but they're tracking the middle of your foot, so your big toe and your middle toe. Then maybe the hands come together here at the heart, and if they do, really use the arms to press out and then create a little resistance so you can lift up through the spine by squeezing the legs in. And then tuck your chin slightly and just bow your head. Send your gaze just past your nose here and breathe deep into your belly. Lean back a bit if you're on your heels. If you're on uh, your toes with the heels lifted, draw energy up from the pelvic floor even more. Breathe deep. Nice, and then to slowly release, we'll keep the toes active, lift up from the pelvic floor, use your fingertips to guide you, and we're gonna come all the way to a seat here. Feet stay on the mat, knees up towards the sky. Let your hands rest gently behind you, fingertips facing away from your body, and then allow your knees to just fall to one side, any side, and then pause here, close your eyes, and imagine ah, uh, you're like on the beach or on a hill. And then bring it back through center and take it to the other side. And again, close your eyes and just have a peaceful moment, essentially, is what we're trying to do. Just create a little peaceful moment with your breath. Close your eyes. Should feel really good, that inner rotation in the left hip.
and then slowly come back to center. Send the legs out long. Then you're going to bring the palms together, interlace, press the palms forward, then keep them forward as you slowly begin to roll down. Tuck the tailbone. You can point the toes if you like here. Slow, slow, slow and steady. Keep pressing the palms forward nice and slow, slow, slow. And then eventually you'll come all the way down to the earth. Open the palms, let them rest gently at your sides. You can shake the toes a little one way and then the other. Take a deep breath in and exhale to relax everything, my darlings. Close your eyes again. And the at-home yoga practice is awesome for considering the mind, getting your mind right. So great for tending to what's really going on. Sometimes we just will go work out or go to yoga and it's very prescribed. And that's really fun and you should do that too. But at home you get to really notice how you feel and check your thoughts. So I'll see you tomorrow. We'll build on today's practice. For the rest of the day or the evening, you can just pay attention to your thoughts and your self-talk. Is it loving? If it's not, let's make it so. Bring the palms together, thumbs to third eye. Namaste.